Hello everyone, welcome to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make spicy cow food appetizer. If you guys are interested in seeing how I make this spicy cow food appetizer, please stay tuned. And without any further ado, let's get cooking. I am going to start off with showing you guys the ingredients that you need. I am going to be using two large onions. One I'm going to blend and the other one I'm going to slice it. You can use as much garlic as you like. One large tomato. one large bell pepper and one habanero pepper I am also going to be blending one dry cayenne pepper this is how it looks like it almost looks like hot chili peppers That long pepper, I don't know what it's called, it's a Spanish pepper. They use it to make tamales. If anyone know the name, I have to find out the name. I'm really not sure about the name right now. But you want to make sure you soak them in hot water before you can peel it and blend them. Because they come out really dry. First, I'm going to chop up my onions. And my peppers. And then I'm going to add it into the blender. Then I'm going to chop up the tomato, add my garlic and my habanero pepper, and the bell pepper. All these ingredients are going to be going into the blender for me to blend them. Then I'm going to add one jimbo cube. You can add any cube that you have. I am going to use also some aromat seasoning. Now you want to, when that pepper is already soaked, you want to peel it off and then take all the seeds out like I'm doing in the video. I am going to be making my spicy cow food appetizer with some boiled yam. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to slice them up and peel them off like so. After you do that, you want to make sure you wash them. You rinse the um, yam. If you don't have yam, you can use cassava, which they call yuca. I am also going to be frying some plantains with my spicy cow food appetizer first you want to soak put some salt into the bowl to kind of season the plantain I am also going to be using some palm oil if you don't have palm oil you can use regular vegetable oil 
Now you're going to peel your plantains and then cut them in any shape you like. After you're done, you put it into the water, the salty water. And put that aside. Now I am going to be blending my ingredients, my pepper, garlic, onions, tomato, bell pepper, and cayenne pepper, habanero pepper, all in the blender, like so. My cow food was already washed. Now I'm gonna add it into my pressure cooker. I'm gonna pressure it, pressure cook it for like 45 minutes. Then I'm also gonna add some Jimbo season cubes. If you don't have it, just simply use salt. I am also going to add some Nor Aromat seasoning. You can pressure cook your cow food. It depends on the texture that you want your cow food to come out. Then you're going to add some water all the way on top of the line where the cow foot stop. Like I said, it depends on the texture, how you want your cow foot. Some people like their cow foot really soft. Some like it like almost like al dente, not too soft, not too hard. Because some people like to chew on stuff. So once that is cooking, I have my yams all ready in in the water, I'm gonna add some soil, salt and I'm gonna get ready to boil it. If you are new to my channel and this is the first time you're tuning in and you're watching so far, I wanna thank you for watching my video and stopping by. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit your bell. Now my yams are all cooked. Now I'm gonna add some palm oil into my frying pan like I said if you don't have palm oil you could simply use vegetable oil to fry your plantains if you never try fly, frying your plantains with palm oil you can try that I just wanted to show you guys because there's a lot of people who are afraid of pressure cooking cooker once your meat or whatever it's you pressuring that it's it's finished um, pressuring you don't want to open it right away you see that red button right there that's an indication that it's telling you that it's not ready for you to open it. That red button will go down. Once that red button go down, that's when you can open your pressure cooker. Whilst my plantain is frying, it's already nicely browned. I'm going to take them out and put them on a paper towel like so. If you never fry your plantains with palm oil, try it guys it's so delicious and now that my plantains are all fried this is how they'll come out now that red button I was showing you it's already down that now now it's safe for you guys to open your um, pressure cooker if that button is doesn't push down, you cannot open the pressure cooker. This is how my cow foot looks like. It's already pressure cooked. It's this is the texture I want it to be. Now what I'm doing, I'm simply just going to put it on a cutting board and just cut all the meat out of the bone. You can leave the bone in if you like. As you can see, I'm going to keep my my um the broth that i cook the cow food with i'm not gonna throw that away i'm just gonna keep it um in case i'm making some beef pepper soup or something because that's a good broth now that i already cut up my cow food out of the bone this is how they look like like i said you could see, you could leave the bone in there if you want and this is how it looks like
Now I'm gonna use the same oil I used to fry my plantain, the palm oil, and fry, stir fry my blended ingredients. Now you wanna keep stir frying the onions and the pepper and the garlic and the tomato and the bell peppers. You wanna stir fry it until it's really, really dry because I always say this, when you stir frying onions and peppers like that, they have their own natural sweetness until it oozes out its own sweetness. It can almost taste like you put some sugar into your gravy. You're gonna keep stir frying it until it's really, really brown. And the oil is almost seems like it's coming up. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning, shrimp jimbo seasoning, like I said, if you don't have none of these seasons, you can use any type you have. You're gonna keep stir frying it like so until it's really, really dry and thick. I love my pot. It's not even sticking. Once it's already stir fried like that and it's really dry, the sauce is really dry, you wanna add your cow foot into the sauce and keep stir frying it and keep stir frying it. It's almost like, you know, you're just gonna keep stir frying until it's really, really dry and 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 that's how it looks like. I wanna thank everyone for keep coming back and watching my video. Now I'm gonna slice some onions into the sauce. You can use red onions, you can use white onions. Whatever onions you have, that's fine. It don't necessarily have to be the red one. Or you can simply not even add onions. You can just leave it like so. This is how my spicy cow food looks like. I'm gonna be enjoying this with some boiled yam and some fried plantain that I fried with the palm oil. If you guys are enjoying this video, I want to thank you and hope you guys will try this recipe. And if you're new to my channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. Hit that bell and hit that subscribe button and keep coming for more. And it looks so yummy, guys. I want to thank everyone for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.